big bet. Waymo goes driverless in Austin and the Chevy Blazer EV returns. This week, it was all about Rivian and its splashy reveal of not one, but three future EVs. I attended the event to see the vehicles up close. Perhaps more importantly, I also went to talk to executives, investors, and customers to get a better understanding of where Rivian is headed and how folks are feeling about this EV upstart that is still far from turning a profit. I even ran into former Waymo CEO and now Rivian board member John Krafsik who was in attendance and cast a positive tone about the company's future. I also interviewed founder and CEO RJ Scaringe after the event. Much of our conversation centered around the R2 and a big and hopefully fruitful bet to shift production to its existing factory in Normal, Illinois instead of a yet-to-be-built plant in Georgia. Stay tuned in the next day or so for a complete rundown of the interview. I will give you one teaser. Relevancy was a theme. I am moderating to panels, and I hope to see your smiling faces in the audience. The first panel at PM March 12th is entitled How Sustainable Mobility is Transforming the Last Mile of Delivery and will feature Sean Zhu of Lower Carbon Capital, Angali Naik of Karkin, and Abby Wheeler of Uber. The following day, and also at PM, I will moderate a panel called Mobility at the Speed of Trust, AV Purpose, Policy, and Performance with Darren Anderson, who is Director of Strategy and Innovation at Texas. J. Blasek Crossley of Farm and City, and Katrin Lohman, who is President of Volkswagen Adam. It sounds like the Rivian R2 reveal was quite an event. The mix of excitement and relief among staff, along with the positive reception from guests, indicates a successful showcase. The buzz around the surprise reveals of the R3 and R3X shows that Rivian has some exciting projects in the pipeline, despite the recent layoffs and financial concerns. It will be interesting to see how Rivian navigates these challenges as it moves towards production of the R2 and beyond.